Hello everyone, it's me Davai again and uh, today is a rather long um, overview of the GunView version 0 0.11, 0, uh, 0, but maybe even 0.1 will be added just, just uh, today. So uh, let's begin. Uh, first of all, uh, the amazing upgrade is that now we have the desktop apps available for the GunView versions so for this version here are uh, Linux distributable uh, for uh, for AMD architecture and uh, the Windows uh, distributable and for uh, older uh, Mac OS uh, and here is the um, macOS uh, application. Yeah, uh, and uh, they are very light. So you can see that it's just seven megabytes. It's not that Electron uh, huge 200, 300 megabytes uh, app. Uh, it's just um, really lightweight application that we may use for on our desktops and even uh, develop with these platforms. So I use Tauri. Uh, if you know what is it, it is a uh, tool to build apps uh, like this. And now when I uh, start my dev uh, server, uh, Tauri is uh, starting its um, shell. And uh, here is the standalone, not a browser, but a standalone uh, application running. It's GunView. It's still available at this port and it's just mirrored uh, to the app. And now I will uh, go uh, with the browser, but um, yeah, uh, it's really <laughs> easily available. And uh, I need to just press that Tauri button uh, or run the command to build uh, the um, the Tauri uh, distributable uh, application but it will be just only uh, as um, uh, as a Mac uh, OS um, and uh, I can't build a Windows application in uh, Mac OS but I have just an action just a simple um, uh, release action here so uh, just I press uh, run these jobs and I have the Windows Ubuntu and Mac OS uh, releases built by github uh, for the uh, recent uh, recent um, release so for this release I've, I've built the um, applications just yesterday yet the release was eight days ago <laughs> so I hope to um, be more consistent later and have the apps version um, built in time it may be automated but uh, I'm new to be github actions so it's uh, just the beginning and yeah uh, after I've uh, got some pretty nice experience with Tauri uh, yeah I know that they have uh, plans to uh, build um, you know um, mobile apps too but for now I'm just playing with uh, uh, with uh, capacitor so here I mentioned the Tauri app and here is the capacitor JS. It's a tool to build, um, uh, you know, applications for uh, mobile platforms. And all I need to do now is npx. Oh, I can open iOS. So I start. Xcode is loading now. And uh, yeah, it's using the built uh, version in the dist folder, so it won't uh, be as uh, robust as I want it to but yeah then I press run and the build succeeded and yeah the app is running <laughs> just on my iPhone should be should be running on my iPhone uh, yeah it there should be <laughs> an emulator here but 
I'm not such an experienced guy in mobile applications, but yeah, I've got it. You should believe it. <laughs> and believe me, I've got uh, the development version of the app running just on my iPhone with many, many bugs to fix, but it runs, it uh, syncs with Gun, and uh, I have all this um, interface with, you know, logging with JSON key pairs and all this stuff is working. Uh, and yeah, and it works for Android too. So MPX cap Android and yeah, there will be, okay, let's start it. There will be Android studio loading and then we, we will have um, the emulator here running just fine. So I press just play here. Mm, I suppose it should work like this. Yeah, and um, yeah, the emulator is starting. So while it's starting, uh, let's see these folders. So here's the source Tauri where I uh, configured the app for the Tauri app. And uh, here is the uh, iOS um, app where I should uh, change the icons here for GunView um, logo and um, all this stuff and Android are here. So this app, you just clone the repo, the mono repo of all these things and you just play with this app folder. You can just duplicate it, uh, name it as you want. Oh, it's maybe, maybe too slow for the, the, these number of files to be, yeah, copied, uh, but you just name it and give it another name here, another name here, and uh, you have your own app that may be constructed out of just those um, components. And you have uh, the chat going there. So I go to topics. Uh, yeah, let's 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 try it here. I don't know if I can load a JSON file from somewhere. <laughs> it doesn't have any files. Here, but yeah, let's let's go somehow go back, yeah, and just create an account, find some yeah, that's I like this. Uh, let's kill. Oh yeah, so get yeah, any any <laughs> name will go. We'll we'll uh, just uh, say hi and. It should sync here. Uh, it's still not syncing. Yeah, it should be maybe reloaded somehow. Yeah, it, it, it should sync <laughs> once. Uh, once it will be, you know, in sync with this server. Yeah, uh, so let's uh, go deeper. It's okay that we don't have the sync version for now because uh, the server is still catching up with all the changes. Uh, it's fine. But uh, let's go through the uh, changes um, deeper. So I'm uh, working on the project section of uh, the application. So what is it? Is It's where you can, anyone actually for now, uh, can publish a project. So this room has the, uh, has the um, certificate for anyone to write uh, into this room to publish a project. But the project is just a link uh, to uh, some kind of uh, uh, record in the user graph. So the, the project is finally in the user realm and uh, you know, you own the project. So you go to another uh, application and it is in yours uh, key pair. It's signed by you and you manage your project. So uh, it starts here in the composables. So you have the use project. Uh, uh, the use project, uh, you, you have the update project, you have the, the update project field, use project, remove project, like this. So let's have a, uh, where do I have add project, count projects. 
oh yeah update project adds a project too so uh, we just grab a gun uh, instance get our current user uh, object then we have um, the first put so we go to the user realm then to the projects path that is just you know projects <laughs> Uh, and then we get the title of the project and then we put there the object so it just by default it just has the title and says that it it's public uh, it's just we can delete it it doesn't make any sense for now but just let it be there so uh, yeah we can change it if we want it anytime I want to this project to be public so if you type something here there may be a, a you know a checkbox to make it public or not it won't be public but for now you won't see it in your uh, you know um, um, account uh, list so for now it's very useful to have your project published to the room uh, to any room uh, that will be created if it has all the yes the certificates so all the rooms older rooms like this test room doesn't have these certificates so you won't be able to publish it until the owner of the room reuse it like uh, you know I and uh, do I have I have the nerdy room so I don't have the certificates for the gifts and I press renew and here is the certificate they are all there they are renewed so everyone can publish a gift but gifts are a next uh, thing to explore and uh, yeah the thing now is projects and gifts are related to them just deeply so first of all we put um, the project into the user realm so we have the just title and the object but then we get this link and this link is published to the current room again projects then we get uh, the mandatory user pub into this uh, key so we can use this certificate to put uh, the link to the project into the room so the room has the title at user and there is a link and this path is uh, you know the identifier that we will use throughout uh, our uh, other parts to have uh, this functionality going uh, yeah so uh, then we can you know list all the projects so we have the reactive object then we yeah have the fuse but it's for fusion search and we've already covered it we have the candidates uh, but finally we go to the user pub uh and the, this is the current room but it may be another pop so we can with this function we can go to um, check the room projects but also the user projects if we give the pub uh, for uh, the user realm and it's universal uh, you know way and i love it i love it that it's symmetrical and we can use it in both ways uh, and I have only one developed for now but I'm trying to build the concept and everything else goes uh, later so let's get into the project by this user so we know we have some descriptions there uh, and let's see what do we have we have the color we have the title we have the author we have the text and now we have the new thing that pro is called project funding with the button fund it now it's not <laughs> the best UI but yeah it's more about the logic so uh, here we can see that someone have has already uh, donated something some money and some I don't know what is this US sense I suppose uh, to this project and uh, there is one um, gift of those two that is done by me and I have uh, it shown here and I have the, some control over it so I can cancel it and it's just oh oh it just disappeared uh, because I cancelled it and the sum is changed so um, I've cancelled my gift and 
in the future versions this won't be as easy as clicking in this interface because it's you know a transaction <laughs> but yeah you can uh, undo any transaction here and let's find it back again in this list so this list lists all the gifts in this room so I suppose you understand that we publish uh, the gifts to the room then we can uh, find it uh, there but of course we know that there are uh, my um, gifts that I am uh, you know uh, uh, managing somehow so there are new gifts and it was uh, quite hard to build and I will show you how it's um, built now I have my sent gifts that I uh, managed to send and there are received gifts that I have uh, received so uh, when they are filled with color this means that both of actors you know just think it's nice so I can press here I have this tick and this receiver has this stick and this 100 rubles uh, gets back and here we have that gift back again and let's give uh, let's create another um, donation so let's say it's 300 US dollars and uh, yeah, stay cool like a wish. I don't know, maybe it shouldn't be called a wish, but for now, you know, it's not mandatory. It's just the wish that you attach to your donation. Maybe it's a question, maybe it's a something, I don't know, something good <laughs> for the receiver. Uh, and yeah, here is you, so it's my account. Here is the room in which we are uh, doing this. Here is the project that I want to donate uh, to and the author of the project. If I change the project, uh, yeah, <laughs> this is, will be, the two will be changed and it, it's me or someone else. But let's get back to the project one. So the project one, we like it and we click propose this gift. Yeah. Now, I don't have any uh, feedback, <laughs> nice feedback, but uh, yeah, you should come uh, and, and, and yeah, w this won't, won't um, show here, I suppose, 300 USD, oh yeah, here is it, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's already um, published into the room, uh, and yeah, let's go and uh, check it out uh, in the desktop app so I'll load the fancy key we will go to the gifts and to my gifts and we see the new list and here is this new donation so let's accept it yeah I don't know how these stat statuses should work really at in details uh, as uh, I suppose that you should approve and then maybe the transaction should happen or you just press it when you received it so you press that i received it and uh, we will uh, now uh, we will check into the code and uh, we'll talk about the uh, you know opportunities to establish the system of communication about the gifts but for now let's press yeah uh, accept and it's immediately accepted here and it's immediately uh, published here so we know that this um, project has some interesting <laughs> yeah the, 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 the thinking is happening about the yeah the yeah <laughs> I don't know what's the glitch now why is this such a Densy thing. Um, maybe it's about you know sinking these. Uh, let's cancel it. Maybe yeah. I have some some background tasks. Maybe uh, maybe I have even. Uh, oh. <laughs> I'll debug that later. Yeah, uh, we will dive into code uh, slowly, slowly going into the code issues and find out how it's built and uh, what are my ideas about uh, how it can be uh, built um, internally. 
so let's see that yeah we are this nerd and uh, yeah we can uh, change the color <laughs> uh, we should be able to change the color of uh, the project and it doesn't change the color yeah I know it it happens when we have some problems with uh, with the index DB yeah sometimes it gets corrupted yeah it happens it happens sometime but <laughs> the data will recover uh, easily uh, from the open app yeah and I should be able yeah to change the um, the color instantly and we will go and check again um, check again the um, project one it's still loading it will load occasionally but yeah uh, these are uh, the the um, the functionality behind the uh, gifts so we have the list of all gifts and the, I suppose that this uh, list should be uh, more compact and uh, really manageable and sortable and all of this uh, functionality should uh, be working fine but yeah it takes time to build so uh, let's uh, get into uh, well <laughs> Well, the list is still a little bit sinking. Yeah, but it's pretty much synced now. Yeah, this, these are in sync. And yeah, it's, it's totally uh, reactive, totally reactive. Maybe it's too reactive because, you know, accepting and rejecting the gifts is displayed instantly. So uh, how is this built and what is the um, you know the um, future possibilities to um, work with gifts so um, uh, we have this new gift so uh, when we go to create send gift you know create it uh, we have the reactive object that's just uh, shown here so we know that from is always just the active user room is the active room so room is mentioned and I'll show you why a uh, little bit later so here is the date uh, and uh, yeah it's just date to string but it should be um, yeah it should be another it should be uh, yeah let's go to components I know where I've already done it when I go to the gift card I have this to locale string it should be like this to locate to locale string yeah uh, and uh, here we will have um, the new gift and to locale string en great britain like this it will reload and we will have yeah we will have this a little more uh simple timing but without the um time zone it won't be as nice to use but yeah it it's easily changeable it, we, we finally we will parse it with date uh, new date so it will recognize uh, I, I suppose any kind of locale strings so room and yeah there's pretty much it and there is a qn and ql that are empty so uh what is qn qn is quantity and it's not validated for now but when you um publish the gift um, it will get um it should get a cleaned yeah clean gift is uh, a computed that uh, removes empty uh, properties from the, the object and converts the qn to the number so it will clean up our you know text here so it will be a number it's just a number and then there is a quality the quality is a string it should be limited to some kind of you know short amount of uh, symbols but you may say it's usd 
euro or just you know chairs so you donate 100 chairs and you wish um, for um, everybody to sit down nice like this and uh, yeah you can choose a project and it will be mentioned so if I press you know like again project white the project gets mentioned by the title at uh, the uh, user so we know the user we know the title and while we know the room we will be always be able to uh, get the link to the original um, project but we can just go to this user with this title and we'll get the project again yeah, and uh, we have the uh, the two um, uh, watch. So if we have the project, so two will be um, uh, will um, appear just from the uh, this project title, the project path. So we we can't now change these two. But if we cancel the project selection we don't have it we can just choose a user so we can choose another user uh, you know like this one and uh, yeah donate without a project yeah at this stage I, I want to build uh, something like um, wallets functionality and I have it like here and it should work but it it, it will it's my next phase so a user will have a number of wallets and uh, you should choose a wallet that you are donating to and this will uh, uh, influence the qualities that you can use so if a user has a USD account bank account attached to it you will have to use USD or nothing if a user has an account like you know I live in this place you can just we can just meet and you can pass me anything you want so you can pass any any string here or maybe just a closed um, you know list of things that are um, okay to to, to uh, get and to give to this user so again 100 chairs for everyone to sit nice to uh, maybe the project one yeah so this user will um, be at some point notified so we click propose and yeah we instantly get to the page of this gift so it just has the hash here in the path so what is uh, this hash so uh, let's see how uh, we get everything um, published and um, sent so we sent the gift uh, we validated it yeah we know that there are all these fields and their field uh, yeah then we always have the hash calculated as a computed so we always have the hash for our gift and we've uh, we've seen it uh, you know uh, I'll get back so no, we won't lose it so here is the hash of the current um, gift calculated every second when these time changes so it changes uh, every second uh, with um, let's see uh, now and now is used now from view use so view use yeah view use core we have this uh, computed function uh, with the interval of one second we have this now and we uh, the ref of now and we have the pause function and we'll use it later so Mm, we have the clean gift that we will you know um, uh, send it and we have the hash uh, always computed and uh, yeah here is the flag of proposal is, is the gift complete from our side uh, yeah and also we can get the configuration of the of the gift from external source of where wherever you we use this use new gift we can uh, say yeah and the project should be this and we use it on the projects page but here it comes empty so we have the gift now we grab the gun and use it <laughs> as we want it so we um, use it to propose the gift so what do we have we just get the clean gift and hash it so we get the hash and the hashed string uh, then 
so it's just stringified you know object uh, then we get the gift path that is just gifts and we uh, yeah here it is and added a hash so it's a frozen uh, content addressed space it's public space that everyone can you know update but you cannot delete or modify the hashed um, data so this is just the basic data so we throw it at the uh, you know at the bucket endless bucket of all gifts worldwide you know and uh, we won't get there uh, to list all of them because it will be just you know, maybe thousands and you know millions of gifts but we won't see them if we want if we don't need if you need to analyze uh, all of them you may go to this and analyze it and I, th I think it's it's really useful to see through all these rooms and all the kinds of you know p2p activity because yeah you will see it only if you are monitoring and grabbing everyone's data who is you know coming online and offline and yeah if you are this uh, interested in that so you will share this data with others and you will see it and it will be useful for the community so uh, yeah that's the strategy so we start from the public uh, con content addressed freezed uh, space and we have the hash this this uh, hash that will be uh, in the center of all our uh, further activity because then we go to the user realm we get again the gifts and path uh, then we get the hash and put just the proposed so when we are here this is the recent one so it's just proposed by this nerd user right now we have this string here so we have we don't have a link we have the status here and the status is that uh, is our tool to you know communicate about this content addressed uh, object that is published uh, and yeah we we can um, change it later because it's in our user uh, space uh, when we uh, put it once we put it, we pause uh, the now uh, updating. So we have um, uh, the final hash and we will use it. Um, so we, 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 the time won't update and the hash won't change and we will have the hash uh, to just redirect from the form to the page of this gift. Yeah, so we need this hash and we will use it and um, I'll sh show you how we use it okay but it's not we are not in the end because if the user uh, the, if the room has the gifts feature it should have uh, the main room certainly has but we can check you know the certificates uh, so we go to the current room again we have the gifts let's say it's gift path just to be consistent so gift path then we go print the hash here at user pub again so because of the certificate we, we need to have the user pub in the key and then we just just put true so it's just true so it's it's uh, fun that uh, you won't be able to delete this record you you can put it false but you won't be able to delete it and uh, once we list them we will know it's there in the room even if you use your certificate to put false in it yeah so it doesn't matter if you put anything here you just created this record and it will be there and it's just attracts all the gifts that are made in this room in this particular room i have even some console log here um, uh, you know uh, confirming that it's okay but yeah we have the proposed value exported this uh, ref that will be used as a signaling uh, tool so uh, this one so proposed proposed value once it's true we, we can react to it and you know uh, go and redirect to the another page let's see how it's working um, here we can go to the form 
and uh, yeah, we can we we get this use new gift. We uh, get a prop that may configure the form, and uh, yeah, this prop goes into the function, so we can add some fields, uh, pre-fill uh, some fields uh, as we want, and yeah, we just export import uh, our clean gift propose proposed and yeah we we don't have the proposed and the how how the form sh is is um yeah <laughs> now it's it's just as simple as that so we don't have even the propose uh, the uh, we don't uh, use the flag once we press propose uh we emit the send event with the current hash so it's just the hash at the moment of the pressing of the button so this hash will be published and while it's being published we are go we are redirected to the page with this hash in the address uh, in the address um, uh, pre uh, pasted so uh, it's it's uh, happening in the app in the pages in the gifts add so like this so at the send uh, event we go to router push and this save hash uh, function wraps around the event so here is the hash coming but it may contain the symbols that are not url safe so we make the save hash um, function clean it up so we have this dot at the end not the equal uh, sign and any of uh, you know slashes will be converted uh, to uh, underscores i suppose and it will be safe and yeah this leads us to the pages gifts and hash so here we have the hash uh, prop and uh, yeah we need to unsafe it so unwrap it from these modifications so we have this un uh, is uh, computed and we give it to the gift card so this gift card it should be gift page but it's not built uh, for now it's just early beginning yeah so we have this gift card showing at this page uh, so this is the routing and uh, yeah let's get back into let's be get back to the uh, mm, uh, controlling of these um, uh, gifts and and parsing them and yeah uh, we need to mm, look at these use gifts so it's pretty big it should be quite uh, quite light but um, it's growing <laughs> so the very basic thing is that if you just need the gifts list of gifts you go to the current room list the again let's say it should be gift path to be consistent so we are importing it from here yeah it's just just to be consistent uh yeah then map over all the gifts and once we get the gift we need only the key so we don't even bother about the data is saved here it's not used there it's yeah we need the key so once we get the key we immediately go to the content address space uh yeah just slice uh the part that we need so we slice and get the hash out of the path because the key contains uh, may contain not only uh, yeah it contains the uh, hash and the um, user pop so we, we're storing in the room the 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 path so we get the hash from here and once we have the data we don't need to react uh, these functions be reactive we don't need gun on we get just got once because uh here we got the key it won't change and here we have the content addressed data that won't change either so we have the d and the key the d uh, this is the date so we try to parse the object from here and uh, just g g just add it to the object so the the object of gifts with keys as um, we have them here so this will be just a hash and the object there so it's as simple as that and we get uh, the you know the reactive object 
uh, with all the gifts published in the room so it's what ha what's happening right here so we can go to the pages again um, gifts and then oh we can just go oh yeah and index so gift list uh, again we, we can on open we go again to the gift slash uh, our hash but we need just the components components source uh, gift uh, gift list so yeah <laughs> that's it so we just uh, iterate all over the gifts uh, from use gifts and we just have the list of all all uh, you know all the donations that we ha are having but all the statuses and everything like this we can just try to populate all of this uh, you know in this function but uh, it can be uh, become a little bit slow and it it's not so easy to retain reactive uh, states for big lists of items so I go in another ways and uh, here you can see that we just give the hash so we don't even need the gift at all we just need the hash because the card it, it just gets the hash and it gets all the information from a hash yeah it, it knows from whom to whom gets the uh, data from them and yeah this is the idea so we have this use gift and not the new gift but yeah the current gift that is uh, run through this gift card so here it is so we get the hash and we run this function and get the gift and its state separately so this is the the closest one of you know what's stored in the contested content address space and this is what we know about it from other uh, other places yeah we, we parse a little bit the time and the date and it should be done in the component maybe it should be done here in the use uh, gift uh, realm right here but yeah it's it doesn't matter too much uh, let's see what matters so we get the hash so this card gets the hash then it goes to gun and creates these uh, reactive objects so gif is an empty and state stay says that from to and these are like uh, useful state computed so one will complete will say true if both of these are true uh, or truthy uh, and status will uh, just give us some idea in human readable format about what happened to this uh, gift in the course of its you know history uh, but yeah we go to the gift path the hash and once we get it we try to we try to assign this reactive object with all the data parsed with the JSON parsed and yeah we then uh, go to gun user from so the user from who is sent the gift projects get um, the um, uh, the hash so it's it's just the hash uh, and then on we get the state uh, from here so it's reactive it's finally reactive this means that we control uh, we control uh, everything just in in real time and the card reacts to it accordingly I love I love it and yeah I, I think this is a great um, uh, method of bringing the gun reactivity to the UI reactivity but not so harmfully <laughs> to the performance because yeah the card manages not the list so if uh, we will use a virtual scroll as I use in uh, uh, you know the topics section so it won't matter too much about how many gifts are there because we only show this vis vis visible part and yeah it should be just fast enough even for uh, thousands of um, data points here and it's easily optimizable yeah um, 
so this is this the state modified so we we get the from and the to these are just the data that these these users store under this hash in their gifts uh path so it's just a communication channel yeah for now we have this button that just can put true or false we can just uh, look at these uh, functions and what do they do but i think that we can you know put here not only some strings but maybe objects with some uh, history attached to it or some improvements you know like a photo of the mm, donation like <laughs> a photo of these hundred chairs attached by the receiver and uh, this will be like you know the green green sign of being totally accepted and uh, yeah it, it's verified by uh, the users and by all of them and yeah it may be communicated more thoroughly so once I just press accept is it's not just like you know I've accepted it totally but maybe it's it's in progress then we press uh, receive then I press yeah I've used it already so we can just count on uh, these uh, donations um, yeah so uh how are we modifying this uh data in the first place yeah we get this card for now there is no gift page uh component it's a to do in my to do list but uh, for now it's just a card that is uh, really really reactive and uh let's go here and deep uh, look deeper so we get gift quantity gift quality we have the uh, badge and even the gift status I suppose that this will uh, be more complex with time but for now if there is true it will have this tick if there is false there will be this cross if there is everything else we will have just it printed here so the proposed is the actual, da actual data that is stored in this user uh, space so uh, we we have yeah let's go to back to the gift card um, gift card yeah and um, there's the wish uh, there's the room if the room isn't as the current room I don't know if it should be useful if we are browsing projects that are published in many um, rooms uh, or something like uh, that uh, yeah it has the project data uh, displayed here and the time and date it's as simple as that and yeah here's the control uh, functions so if uh, from equals the user pub so this is for the author of uh, the gift we have if uh, the state is falsy we can press propose so maybe it's cancelled maybe you pressed uh, set false yeah, because there is a cancel so once you send it it is in the propose so it's truthy so you will not have this button you will like here you will have the cancel button that means that if uh, there is something in your user um, realm then you can change the gift to false so gift state this is the function maybe it should be set gift state mm, uh, I'll consider it renaming but it's just just a sketchy uh, first build yeah we say the hash and the data that we want to put there yeah as simple as that and it's it, and the function itself is quite simple too so gift state gets the hash and the state then we go to the user user db that means like it's just gun dot user and that's it so we can we can yeah I use it interchangeably so uh, then give spot then get and put nothing like this not, nothing special we can just uh, paste it uh, into uh, the um, directly use it in gift card just gone we can just use it 
like here but uh, I suppose that it will it's just the beginning of changing the gift state so we may need to write some history uh, of gift uh, of the gift in 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 the room maybe so uh, you can post some some history about the gift into the room or, or or in your realm I don't know it's it's just a matter of experimenting and uh, really m much much thinking uh, yeah uh, but uh, I hope that you can uh, get the idea of the graph that is uh, building uh, on these um, ideas so if you are a receiver of uh, the gift of the of the donation you will have these options so you can of course set it to true so accept so once you press accept first like here I have the new gift so these are the gifts that I, I haven't accepted um, you know once because once I accepted the record is in my uh, user space even if it's false if it's infinite even if it's null but the key is there uh, so it will be tracked that I've already accepted it once so I knew I know about it so it's just the first accept that matters much but because then you can change uh, the uh, the um, state as you wish but I think it will it will be more defensive so are you sure <laughs> will be displayed here are you sure want to accept it is it's not uh, reversible or then are you sure want to cancel it because yeah it will be instant but it's just losing some it will be displayed that you've cancelled something uh, like this because yeah it's a tr transaction but we don't have these uh, you know control organs the control you know institutions that will check if there was uh, one uh, uh, hundred thousand smiles transferred this is for just users and the, the mm, limited uh, you know um, uh, trust between them uh, but there should be trust and uh, the trust in this system is uh, built upon a project so these are not just you know transactions between users these are transactions with between just uh, users and the project owners yeah you can just send a gift to anyone without a project but uh, uh, yeah, and it it may be tracked, and the tracking gifts is nice when someone is you know uh, running a stream with donations with a certain goal, and uh, people are donating from different channels like USD, you know, Bitcoin, uh, any kind of uh, currency or some uh, goods, and uh, this may be uh, used to you know check against all these data oh, I don't know what's happening to the <laughs> it's quite fun uh, to see like I reject yeah it's just uh, has some conflicts there okay like here we don't have any conflict like mm, so we can just calculate everything um, okay let's let's donate to the skill pad project and see how it um, oh it's not uh, sinking again yeah skill pad so here it is we can go and fund it now uh, we will have like 99 euros uh, to the best to the best uh, and the propose so we don't see it here I, s I hope I will just give an icon so you have new gifts proposed and here are your three new gifts you click accept yeah we have 109 euros to this project there is no goal here set up because yeah we you can just set a goal in the um, uh, like uh, editing your project because uh, the project of course is uh, really editable so thanks to like this then you have like this and um, fa fancy 
and even we may say like this we may uh, get the link to this user we can go to users and uh, yeah get uh, get the mm, oh not in the app of course so let's press another yeah so here is uh, the link to this user page yeah we it, it will be in production it will be gun viewjs.org and https like this so we get to the projects and yeah we can just go visit the page of the user yeah and it's there it's that that user and everything is syncing up yeah we're having the mates list loaded and uh, the posts that uh, this user one liked uh, and and yeah so uh, it's already somewhat flexible with this editor uh, live editor um, but um, in future uh, we um, and, and, and also uh, we we will need we want to have the goal here like goal uh, one, one, uh, two hundred euros. Yeah, like this. So yeah, we we can just go with that. Uh, uh, reload. Oh, it's it, now it's syncing uh, the all the data here, so it won't be fast enough uh, as we wanted. Thanks to yeah. It, it doesn't matter now it's still it's still editable it still will uh, sync eventually yeah <laughs> some computers are running crazy I will check against that um, in the code yeah so thanks to fancy yeah but uh, the what's the idea the idea is uh, to have um, to have tasks and uh, to have purchases that are attached to this uh, project that will be just mentioned inside here and they will have the price the the and you know the amount that we need to uh, get in order to uh, this project to um, be completed so not the project uh, needs money but the tasks and finally the gifts will have even the task um, uh, field so you can donate precisely to the task and uh, Finally, the project is a you know a sum of tasks and uh, purchases, and we, the the trust, as in my opinion, will be in the project uh, you know structure in project um, development. So once you have all the details, not only the text, you know the pictures, but the precise tasks and purchases that you want to you need to do to in order to complete this project this includes your salary you know or uh, some funds to uh, share between some um, you know worker workers or not even workers like you know designers everyone is involved in that like maybe uh, there should be a task to you know throw a party <laughs> at the end of the project it's fine it's fine to create as much tasks but once they are there you can say that yeah this project looks fine and uh, the tasks look fine and you will start uh, getting the donations it, you will just open the funding uh, at some um, moment and the, uh, the donations will uh, just channel through the project to the uh, task owners and the um, uh, purchase or owners so uh, the task owner won't be the uh, you know the financial center maybe uh, if we have the um, you know tasks that uh, are added to the project as links but they are located in uh, other users realms so we have different users controlling the tasks of the project and uh, they are uh, you know um, 
in charge of the result and uh, of the timing of the deadlines and so on so we will gradually build some decentralized project uh, you know evaluation and uh, realization um, system that will uh, grow uh, as it can very differently it should be you know fluent and uh, you know malleable so we can uh, optimize it to real life tasks but yeah with this uh, you know uh, room functionality you are not uh, um, limited to some projects that are uh, you know created by by someone or too crowded because yeah we can you anyone can just generate a new room uh, even in another room, in another room, in another room, then just clean up uh, your your local storage, just ha having the keys and the certificates, and you can uh, build your own isolated um, realm of projects, tasks, and uh, the main thing is that in your room, uh, maybe these certificates in future, they won't be just open to everyone, you will have, uh, you know, certified users that may uh, put some topics, posts, uh, just add them to the room, to the space and create projects, uh, donate gifts, like here we ha don't have the certificate, so let's renew it, now we have the certificate for gifts, mm, you know, get the dictionary uh, right and uh, we can... Hello! Um, Oh, and I and save. Oh yeah, and save is is under that. Uh, okay, I don't. <laughs> I can't save now. Uh, like that. So uh, we can just uh, you know. Oh yeah, here we can name our uh, hello hello in in uh, my room. Yeah, so this is my room. I, these are my rules. <laughs> and yeah, something doesn't go well. But yeah, we can change the avatar of the room and yeah, manage it, manage it. And uh, the management capabilities will grow with time. Uh, so yeah, the last thing I want to show you is the my gift. So I've shown you the easy part of the uh, use um, gifts use gifts uh, function so this is the easy part but then uh, when I go to my gifts so the the gifts are that are displayed here uh, let's refresh yeah so we have the send the received and the new so how do we um, separate them so the sent and received are pretty easy. So we uh, go to, we have these empty reactive objects. Then we go to the user, to the gift path and map over them. Once we, get, we have the hash, we go to the frozen object, parse it and uh, throw it to the gifts. So this is just the normal use gifts section but then we just if it's mm, the field from is our user pub we get it to from if it's two we get it to two so it's quite easy so two from and gifts are populated with just this uh, simple request but how can we know about the gifts that we don't have in our user realm uh, readily that are just uh, added are just sent to us to our projects and we don't know about them so here's the room where the room matters if we don't publish the gift to the current room we should have to iterate over all the hashed frozen uh, content addressed gifts objects and it may be huge and really painful if if I <laughs> spam this space a little while I'm testing all the functionality or with time well we have hundreds and thousands of records but we will have the rooms and the rooms will handle 
just a bunch of projects and there will be maybe tens of thousands of records but not too much to just parse with our JavaScript um, application so we go to the room to the gift path map over that and on so we know that it may be changed but no we don't need it will be just once we have it we will go and get the hash out of the path because uh, in the room we store not only the hash but hash at user pub so we get the hash and then we go to the uh, actual um, actual parsing of the um, data and then if uh, 2 is equal to user pub we will uh, just uh, check uh, if the user already knows about this hash if if there is this hash in his um, user space then we will just just uh, continue but if there is no uh, such record we will pass this record to the gift hash so yeah it, it's it's uh, it's still uh, iterates over all records uh, in the current room uh, but um, you know it's it uses this async function and it will just eventually <laughs> end uh, with these ones it will fire once in a while while when one uh, we have uh, new gifts uh, added but uh, it won't it won't be too heavy uh, to find that we have this new um, new new gift uh, incoming for the user uh, yeah uh, it's like this and um, another uh, way to look at uh, these um, funds is to look at how we manage the project gifts because yeah we have buckets of donations so they are um, you know grouped by uh, the quality of the gift so uh, this is 100 chairs if someone adds two chairs there will be 102 chairs and rubles and the you know us dollars and so on so on so you know the case you know the the methods so yeah we go to the user we go to the we we iterate over oh let's again use project gifts oh yeah so the pub is um yeah so the path is again the hash at user so this is the pub of the user that has that is the author of the gift so we go to the author go to the uh, gift but so gifts and map over all the gifts that this user uh, has then we get the uh, hash and parse it and uh, yeah so we parse all of the gifts of this user maybe we should have some paths that will differentiate over uh, some projects maybe uh, and yeah we should gift path map over ah yeah so this is about the hash and the project is stored in project so uh, yeah so it's working now like that I, I know it may be optimized so uh, we have we parse the data then if uh, the path is equal to the project field of the gift then we go we add the we, we add it to the reactive object with the empty state so the state is useful uh, when we will iterate over them uh, later because yeah it's the way that I found it how can I build it maybe you know how uh, this may be uh, built more easily because now we go to uh, gun user from and get the state 
so we have these gifts hash state from and this data from there so it's still reactive it's still reactive highly reactive so when uh, whenever the user changes this data this uh, object this field uh, this property will change and we will be able to react to it in the ui and not only in the ui because we will have to build the collections and the collections will react to these changes so what are the collections uh, the collections is an object that will have some um, fields and uh, let's see how they are filled so we use the watch effect uh, or, or function that will track all the changes here and react to it and i suppose that there's the error with this flickering uh, things because something is just uh, you know cycling here and changing and uh, triggering changes and uh, you know uh, so for better way we should just watch the gifts object like this watch gifts like this and we should import the watch function here so we watch the gifts let's store it see if it still works it still works it works even better <laughs> we have more um, more things loaded that's nice so um, yeah we watch the gifts then we iterate over them and uh, what do we do we say that collections then we get the quality so collections chairs collections rubbles collections usc is is itself or if it's empty we will say list sum and from so these are the data fields that we will fill so list hash gift so in this collection we will have the list with the key uh, and we will put the gift there it's first so we have the list of all uh, gifts of this quality but then we iterate over the collections itself um, themselves uh, and uh, what do we do there we um, yeah we uh, say that the sum of this collection is zero and from is an empty object then we iterate over the list in the collections maybe it should be another watch i suppose um, it should be optimized a little bit better but yeah the, the logic goes like this so um, we have the collection gift uh, from the list at first then we check the state of it if uh, there is no from and to we continue so it's in, it's it's cancelled by the sender and it's not accepted and the cancel and cancelled by the receiver so continue it's not a relevant mm -hmm. gift so then we filter so this filters out all of you know reject it so here are only the active then we uh, add the number that is in the quantity section of the gift to the sum and we uh, get the from and with the pub key of uh, the sender uh, set to uh, from ah oh yeah so this is just the number uh set to zero or if it's not set to itself and then we just add some quantity uh, to the from so what's uh what's the change yeah so this will say that um yeah, I don't know if it's 
relevant <laughs> maybe it's it's a place of growth it's it's just the recent re recent update i don't know uh this should be uh changed i th i think that now it's it's not used for, for now I, I think that it will load no it doesn't load Yeah, come on. <laughs> Maybe again I have the... Yeah, so the database is corrupted again. This is the bad thing happening. And uh, yeah, it makes me want to add the button reset everything to the, to the GunView application. So once I clean uh, the storage everything just tries to load back again yeah and it loads like this so yeah uh, here's the sum so there is 100 1100 uh, rubles donation and here is the sum yeah we don't need to display all the gifts and i display the only those that you can you know influence so this one I can cancel, so they are shown to me. This one isn't shown, this one isn't shown. And when I log out, I see only these records like this. Uh, yeah, that's, I think that's, that's it for now. It's um, quite an extensive uh, overview over this functionality and um, it's getting quite complex. I, I hope I can make it a little bit um, cleaner uh, because it's just the tip of the iceberg because we need the projects having the tasks and the purchases inside and with some deadlines that will be funded with the uh, gifts or donations uh, and uh, there will be some you know timings and uh, progress bars showing the progress of funding of realization and uh, yeah i think it's the really really powerful thing not for you know global crypto economical you know startups but just for local uh, simple projects that can be um, created by uh, you know activists and some communities so you just create a room for your community and start building projects uh, start posting things some news maybe and uh, talking about some you know local uh, projects problems you know ideas uh, creating the uh, topics easily and uh, you know discussing everything you want and meeting here uh, you know uh, building your social graph uh, yeah like this so I hope you find it as exciting as I uh, find it exciting and uh, yeah we can uh, just uh, build it uh, together and uh, once you start building your apps with the gun view you will uh, maybe contribute to the original code to the composables to the components and to the app itself so it will empower other uh, communities in their um, buildings and their projects and their you know charity foundations and so on so on so it's really fun to build with gun once you um, you know fight through the first struggle of getting into the graph you know uh, mindset and uh, I see this graph pretty nicely and I understand how it's b built inside so these you know projects so I can find that skill pad project and here's the color the public that true the text of uh, it and the one when it was updated and um, and I understand how easily it may uh, grow in um, many dimensions once we you know collect all the projects of the given user and check 
all the funding of all the projects you know or the tasks of or uh, you know we can just ch uh, check the balance of all the users or have some statistics or analytics about the gift um, you know uh, streams in our community and uh, these are really useful in, uh, tools and uh, it's quite fun to have them in the peer-to-peer -peer, uh, realm so there is no server storing it it's just relaying the data that is stored on our devices and yeah we may store it we may no we may not store it and uh, yeah everything is uh, changeable except <laughs> the content and content addressed stores that these gifts won't be changed in and everyone has this hash attached to them and but yes we can lose them because here are some records where we we have lost the um, pictures so they won't load because yeah there is a hash but no one remembers what was the content and it's quite a fun feature of the content address space uh, yeah and uh, now i'm just better with it because yeah we always start to get into this space and just just get the data so it will be stored in my uh, you know index DB and it will be instantly shared with other users online yeah so I hope you understand this quite complex and not very user-friendly uh, concept of projects and donations to the project authors uh, and um, yeah there there will be more more bug fixes and uh, more apps as android ios and uh, desktop apps are uh, developing and uh, uh, i don't know if uh, this app is actually needed as it is in the uh, mobile world but maybe parts of it in other applications uh, with this easy to use uh, you know uh, account management or room management or something maybe used in your games or your smaller apps or my apps that will be published um, to these platforms so yeah uh, this is the gun view uh, 0.11.0 and uh, yeah we're going towards the 1.0 uh, version uh, i don't know what's the mm, you know milestone for that because it's an ongoing project it's so much to build more and uh, of course with uh, documenting uh, documenting all the uh, all the components uh, with the uh, here it is a, an enormous task to build but uh, yeah it's still quite fun it's still quite uh, interesting and uh, even the gift list is here <laughs> it's loaded yeah it's updated uh, so you can just go to the gift card and uh, work on it <laughs> um, and uh, modify it as you wish give it more states and yeah uh, check some edge cases and build a really resilient um, and a really uh, peer-to-peer app because yes you always can just install it on your home screen and use it from the uh, CS Sky um, home screen and uh, yeah it will work there so it's not um, tied to the github to the github pages to the uh, .js.org domain to any kind of places you can just uh, get the um, MSI or app uh, file to your computer and instantly start sharing data with your peers um, you know I think it's power <laughs> and uh, it's power of gun <laughs> but uh, it's really nice uh, gun that doesn't uh, hurt anyone but empowers everyone to do what they want to do on the internet yeah that's it uh, and see you next time bye